Hey guys, this is Brad Lander. Just uh, We have some important stuff coming up, so I want to give you uh, basically the rundown of the surveys that we took, um, and then also just some updated information. So, number one, uh, we have the ante on the client of the year. Um, you should click on the links, but we are giving away the $500 giveaway, but also three free months of the boot camp, so up to $1,100 plus um, with that. Uh, but I do want to just go over the survey. We have um, kind of the survey. We had 103 people do it, so we still have uh, almost majority of the people that we are in our boot camp that actually did it. Great, great people. Thank you for doing that. But just kind of going over, over kind of the whole thing. We had about two or three percent of you said that um, they don't feel like they sometimes. Well, I'll just kind of go over just basically get you in shape. Does a great job of explaining how to properly perform the exercises. So I know that was the first one. So we had two to three percent say we don't. So um, those of you that don't, we always encourage if we don't, if you don't feel it, or if you don't feel like you're doing the right job, just let one of the trainers know. Uh, but then again, uh, we'll do try to do a better job of that as well. That's why we're doing this. The other thing is, um, are you pushed enough? So we do a lot of because we have so many people. It's kind of tough to do fitness levels, but we try to do our best to um, basically work with all fitness levels. So we only had one percent say one percent of everyone say they're pu they're not pushed enough. Um, so that's good. We're going to try to continue to make it, um, it pretty tough for all fitness levels, the the good and the people that are just starting that um, haven't worked out in a while. So. We're definitely going to go over that and try to get better at that. Um, Off-day cardio information. This is stuff we'll go over when we're going to start. But 53% um, either don't work out in the off days or are lucky enough to do something. So it's a majority of the boot campers. 30% um, do. They are consistent, but they don't do what we uh, what we uh, suggest on the off days. And then about 20%. Um, do it most of the time, what we suggest. So we'll continue to do that. All right. So um, Tuesday, Thursday, uh, kind of basically we've we let it out. A lot of people are looking to do something on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So 5:30 and 6 p.m. or it might be a 5 p.m. But the first of the year we'll roll out something um, early morning and the evening, just one class. But it's really pretty much going to be core a recovery, a lot of more stretching, and then the cardio, what, basically what we suggest you guys do on the off days anyway. So for those that need more accountability, more coaching, this is going to be something that uh, we're going to offer. And there will be some sort of uh, extra service charge. It will not be a part of our boot camps. It will be a separate service. Um, but for those of you that are looking for that, we had a lot of people. We had 23 said they were interested in the morning and 31 at, so basically 50% of you guys said you're interested in some sort of doing that so um, the cold weather okay we are going to be inside if it's 39 degrees or under the only catch is um, is, is 6 p.m. Uh, the Coppell Aquatic Center is going on the, oh, under construction right now um, so basically we don't have that the gym at 6 p.m. if it rains or it's too cold because there's very few days that we actually have to use the gym because of the cold and rain, it's really tough for us to go and find a leasing or go find another gym right now. So, But we are looking at options. But right now, if it's too cold or too rain, we will be outside only for the 6 p.m. class. Um, the last one, or the last two, few, is a 12 p.m. class. December, we will start a 12 p.m. class. And that's going to be based on the assumption that we have enough people week in and week out. So we've tried two weeks, three weeks, and it doesn't work out. Uh, we'll just say, hey, sorry, we're going to go back to our five different class times. But that's going to add another hour. So we have six hours for you to choose from, 5.30, 6.30, 8, 12, and then two evening classes. All right. Um, great, uh, great survey on are you satisfied with what we're offering, everything that we're giving you, um, the tools, accountability, environment. Um, only 2% are neutral as far as they're not good. The rest, which was 98%, um, very satisfied or somewhat satisfied. So that's good. Um, and then the client appreciation party, December 8th. We're excited about that. It's going to be really fun. We've got dinner. We've got fun. We've got a lot of awards we're giving out besides the client of the year. Uh, but we've got probably 100 people with their family and friends. We're going to 
get RSVP soon, so please let us know if you can come so we know how much food that we need to cater. Um, so basically responses from what you guys feedback, um, again we have a, a, a lot of people, so some people love the testing that we do, the measurements like the mile run, some of the fitness testing, like um, some of the how many push-ups you can go, do in 90 seconds, but then we have a few that don't like that. Um, our job is to try to make it to where people that do like the competition get pushed and people that don't still feel like they're getting what they want out of the program. So we're going to continue to try for those that, um, the other thing is modifications. Um, we do encourage all the time if there's anything that we need to modify, please let one of the trainers know. But even though we encourage it, I want you to know that please ask one of the trainers if there's an exercise you shouldn't be doing. Our trainers are very well educated enough to quickly give you an optional or a different exercise. Um, we do usually say it, but sometimes we don't, so we just want to let you know. Please let us know. Um, the other thing is we are continuously trying to evolve the program, meaning the workouts are always a fitness at your own fitness level. As you notice, some of the weeks prior, we're, we've been really getting some different exercise and workouts in, some new workout of the days. Um, at the end of the day, we're going to try to continue to do it to where you're pushed at your own personal limit. Like I said, only 1% is not getting, feels like they're getting a workout that they need. So uh, we're going to still focus on trying to give you what you need at your own personal limit. And everyone has their own fitness limit. We're going to give the workout of the days, try to scale it to where you're going to be pushed beyond what you think you can do physically at your own personal limit. So it's not going to be something you can't do, but it's not something that's going to be easy. So that's it. Um, thank you for listening. If you hear the baby, it's screaming right now, so um, I'm going to take it out. But let us know if you have any questions and how we can continue to help you, okay? Thank you.